Hello everyone and welcome back to Chow. Today we are going to make Ice Americano. For those that have not tried Ice Americano, it is time to give it a try. It is simply refreshing. It is like having iced tea, but instead of tea, it is coffee. Give this recipe a try. I am going to make three different types of Ice Americano. One is using regular brewed coffee, using the French press, for those without access to espresso machines or regular brewed coffee, you may also use instant coffee. And finally, we are going to use espresso to make our third cup of ice Americano. I'm going to use 22 ounces cups for the recipes that I'm going to show you today. Check the description box for the full recipe. Now, Americano by its nature is only coffee and water. But for those that are wanting to make it a little bit sweeter, you can add sugar. Most of those that take Americano, they don't like to add sugar in their drinks. But because what I'm going to show you are commercial, I'm going to show you a standard recipe for commercial purposes, and you can adjust the sweetness as you see fit, with or without sugar. So coffee, water, and sugar. For this commercial recipe, I am going to use my own homemade vanilla syrup. I'm going to put two ounces for each one of the recipes that I will show you today. So we're going to start by making our brewed coffee using the French press. I am going to use Thai coffee, 50 grams of Thai coffee for 500 ml of hot water. The normal proportion that I use since I'm using a one liter French press is I put 100 grams of coffee and one liter of water or one is to 10 ratio but because i'm going to use only 50 grams i'm going to use 500 ml of hot water so i'm going to take hot water from my machine and we are going to steep our coffee for about four minutes so this is 500 ml of hot water into my french press and then give it a stir and then put the lid on and we'll set the timer to four minutes. So whilst we are waiting for our brewed coffee to finish brewing in four minutes, I'm going to prepare our instant coffee Americano. For this, I am going to use Nescafe Red Cup. You can use any instant coffee, but not three-in-one coffee. For 22 ounces, I'm going to put one tablespoon of instant coffee. And by the way, if you are using bags like this, you can get um, a sealer like what I have here. Make sure that my paper bag is properly sealed and that is always fresh. There you go. I am going to use five ounces of hot water. There you go, five ounces of hot water for my instant coffee. And now my brewed coffee is nearly ready. I am going to also get five ounces of my freshly brewed coffee. I am now ready to push the plunger down on my brewed coffee. Okay, I'm going to wait for a bit. I'm going to start pulling my espresso shots. So because this is a 22 ounces Americano, I am going to use two baskets, two shots of coffee, and I'm going to pull three ounces of coffee. So this is a long shot for Americano. Okay, so let's do that. Whilst we are waiting for our espresso shot to be pulled completely, I'm going to pour my brewed coffee. Once again, five ounces of brewed coffee for my 22 ounces Americano. So this is three ounces of brewed coffee. I'm going to start with the brewed coffee. This is five ounces of regular French press brewed coffee. 
and then I'm going to add two ounces of my homemade vanilla syrup. Next is the instant coffee. Give it a stir, put it in, a, in our cup, and then again, I'm going to add our two ounces of vanilla syrup. And finally, for our espresso, I'm going to add the vanilla syrup here. All the same recipe. Give it a stir and into the cup. So now I have my three cups of coffee and vanilla syrup. It is time to complete our drinks. But to do that, because I would like to present it with a little bit of like foamy top, I am going to use my, elect my milk frother. this if it's not cold to the top you can simply add water let's start with the first one which is using regular brewed coffee if you don't have the Thai traditional coffee you can use any coffee of your choice Use the French press brewing method, which I showed you in a previous video. Check the link above, or you can use cold brew method as well. Hmm, refreshing. The bitterness of the coffee is balanced by the sweetness of the vanilla syrup. You may replace the vanilla syrup with simple sugar syrup or skip it completely. Now this is using instant coffee. Using instant coffee gives you a lot of foam on top, so it just looks very, very attractive. Now, let's see whether it tastes as good as it looks. Mm. Different. It's a um, strong coffee. It's instant coffee, but still very refreshing. If you want the coffee to be less strong than this, you may reduce the proportion of the instant coffee I use one tablespoon here. You might wish to make it two teaspoons. But I think this is a perfect recipe for commercial purpose. Now, that is phenomenal. Very, very strong coffee and with a taste of the vanilla, which is just so special for this one. There you go. New recipes for your milk tea coffee shops or for you, for you to just try at home to serve to your friends and family. If you have any questions about these recipes, do let me know and I'll see you again in my next video tutorial. For those that have not yet subscribed to this channel, click that subscribe button below. I publish videos on coffee, milk tea, smoothies and frap as much as I can, sometimes more than once a week. So stay tuned. In the meantime, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.